This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by HostGator. Today on a very special Destructoid, because there wasn't enough Mass Effect in your life, EA is putting it on iOS, Notch wants to make Psychonauts 2, and we've got yet another kick-ass Astro headphone giveaway for you right now on Destructoid. Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. And despite popular opinion, my last name is not Longest, you guys. It's That's just not, no long. One, nobody and my first name is spelled with two A's. Yeah, you guys spell her like Mind a chick from, from Teen Titans. That's not how you spell it. I know. It's, it's Tara. Tara. I mean, it annoys it's me. It's not a Star Wars name. It's, it's Whenever pretty Whenever I go to Starbucks, people always misspell my name, and then I throw my coffee in their face, and then I order another because I really like coffee. Yeah. Let's get started with news, that shall we? That sounds like a good idea. So EA held a press event in New York City yesterday where they announced that the Mass Effect franchise would be coming to iOS in the form of an all-new, fully-featured third-person shooter called Mass Effect Infiltrator. Wow. Very impressive. In it, players are tasked to free prisoners from a nearby hostile Cerberus base and are offered extra rewards for collecting evidence of Cerberus' crimes. EA released a few screenshots of the game at their press release event, which of course looked gorgeous. Lots of detail in the environments. Very pretty overall, which makes me think that this would look amazing on the iPad. Uh, but apparently EA's got something extra special exclusively for iPad owners, and that is Mass Effect Datapad. Right, they're keeping pretty quiet on the details of that right now, but we know it'll allow you access to your in-game galaxy map. It'll let you receive text messages from your crew, yeah! possibly sexy ones. And it'll have a mini game where you fight reapers or something. Both Infiltrator and Datapad are companion apps for Mass Effect 3, meaning you'll probably have to connect through Origin to link them up. But that also means that the more you play, the higher your galactic readiness rating will be, which could potentially the could potentially alter the ending of Mass Effect 3 for you, like give you a better one, which is always cool. No word on a release date for either of these apps yet, but my guess is they'll probably be coming out before Mass Effect 3 launches on March 6th. That's just my guess though. But why would anybody, you know, if it alters the ending, I would think they'd want to have it ready by launch time. I hope Grunt sends me a picture of his dick. I bet it looks like wow. a volcano. Okay, why don't you just read your news and we Come talk on, about you your can't weird tell me sexual fantasy Mass later. Effect characters texting you? Why didn't I get to write okay. that story? I wanted to make jokes about Kelly Chambers feeding my fish again, because that never gets old. Yeah, maybe okay. So, yeah, his dick probably looks like an artichoke. Um, one of my most anticipated games of 2011 that's actually coming out in 2012 is Retro City Rampage. This is the 8-bit looking sandbox downloadable title made by our pal Brian Provinciano. Now, we might be a little bit biased since Mr. Destructoid happens to be a playable character in the game and you can go to a plastic surgery clinic and turn your face into the face of any of the Destructoid editors, but that's beside the point. Today, a new trailer that shows off some more gameplay and teases a mysterious announcement on Feb February 20th dropped. I've already emailed Brian offering to exchange stealthily taken camera phone pics of Tara's what? butt for an exclusive on his game, but as of writing this, he I have I've not gotten any response, so I will probably follow up with him later, possibly using more emoticons and a neon pink font so it's extra sexy. He's probably already got some pictures. I yeah. gave him some at PAX. Okay, last yeah, year we, we have like so we have like a huge folder on our server oh, yeah, just Tara just Long camera phone butt photos that we use to bribe devs. Anyway, if you haven't been paying attention, this game is going to be really, really cool. Um, if GTA went back in time and impregnated River City Ransom, and then the horrible video game baby grew up watching I Love the 80s, that's that's what it would be like. It would be great yeah. if we were in it. So look at this game and fucking pay attention to it. Yeah. And if you don't want this game, you're a dumb person and I hate you. I'm a professional journalist. <laughs> Tara, your turn. I'm really excited for that game. No, though. it's gonna be rad. It's, it's awesome. It's been a long time coming. I just want it to come out. Yep. Yeah. That's what she said. So we are entering the final home stretch for the PS Vita, which is launching just a couple weeks here stateside. And as you might expect, that sneaky Nintendo is trying to hog all the attention for themselves. Apparently they've struck an exclusive deal with GameStop to knock $20 off the price of the 3DS from now until February 12th, just two days before the big Valentine's Day launch of the PS Vita First Edition bundle which I'm sure would make a great Valentine's gift if only you had $350 in your wallet or a girlfriend to buy it for. However, you lucky men and women who are taken, I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Nintendo recently released their Pink Pearl 3DS, which is perfect for women who Does like Does it vibrate? 
Uh, no, I think that's just the picture. But it's perfect for women who like cute, tiny pink things, and it's on sale for $150, and I instantly regret using the phrase cute, tiny pink things. That's gonna come back mm. to haunt me. I get it, like genitals. Disgusting yeah. tiny genitals. Those YouTube commenters, yeah. quite astute they are. Luckily we are two steps ahead of them at all times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on Monday's little news brief, which which you guys seem to think was a regular episode, but we do we do short episodes sometimes. We're, awesome. If we're not here, we're doing a shorter thing, and don't, yeah. and don't worry. Uh, anyway, on Monday we talked about how Hideo Kojima uh, tweeted the first screenshot for the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on the PS Vita, and that screenshot doesn't actually show us anything, it just shows like the title screen. And it it was still still exciting enough to report on. So look at his look at his cool Bam. iPhone case. I got a shirt that matches it because I'm a nerd. Um, I speculated that while this could just be a straight port of the console HD collection, it seemed very likely that Kojima would do something wacky with the Vita's you know, wild variety of crazy new inputs like accelerometers and touchpads and touchscreens and all that. And today my speculations have been justified. Kojima has given a couple details about the portable game's new control scheme, saying that at MGS3, players will be able to slit enemy throats by flicking the rear touchpad. Oh, What's not I to like? That. Yeah, uh, well this is totally a silly gimmick that probably won't really, really add to game play that much. Uh, Kojima added that players will also be able to control the camera by using the back touch screen. Um, it's kind of a neat idea since you don't actually have to use your thumbs to, to block the screen at all. If, if you haven't played a Vita, go to your near GameStop or whatever and, and check it out. It's yeah. a really neat thing. The back is like a touch screen except it's not a screen. You just, you just touch it. It's very very sensitive. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You just rub its back. Makes wow. it feel better. In any case, I feel more and more terrible for Snake Eater 3DS. Um, had that actually been a 3DS launch title like we were expecting, it probably would have been really awesome, but the 3DS has been out for like a year now and there's still no Metal Gear on it. So anyway, uh, more news about Metal Gear HD on the Vita as Kojima tweets about it, because apparently that's Konami's, you we'll know, chief We'll just have a live feed of his tweets now. on all of our we shows We should do that. Instead of Kojima is eating pasta. Yep. He said something in Japanese, I can't read that it. That crazy know? old Kojima. Yeah. I like, he takes pictures of seagulls and shit, you know? Aww, his He's, Twitter's actually really fun. He is lovely. He He's is a lovely. A lovely man. man. So if you just happen to have found yourself thinking lately, man, I really wish Double Fine would make another Psychonauts already, then apparently you and Notch have something in common. Tim Schafer told website Digital Spy in an interview recently that he'd love to make a sequel to the hit 2005 game, saying, quote, I'd love to do that game, but I'd have to convince someone to just give me a few million dollars, that's all. Well, wouldn't you know, right after that interview hit the web, Notch, the creator of Minecraft, tweeted Tim Schafer and said, let's make Psychonauts 2 happen. Now, I've been following their conversation on Twitter since that happened, and even though Notch has said that it's all still extremely vague, it seems like there's actually a decent chance that this might happen. Of course, we haven't even discussed the most exciting news yet, which is that Max Scoville's fantasy beach sex island might actually have a shot at some real funding Guys, now. Guys, come on. Seriously. Max Scoville's fantasy beach sex Notch, island. Notch, if you're listening, just give us money. Come please. on, Notch, please. Like 10 bucks please. is fine. That's cool. We I'll just need some, money. Buy some Mad Dog 2020, yeah. Speaking of money, I'm gonna take a second to thank our sponsor and then we'll be back Pay for my show. vet bills, Tara. <laughs> HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in just minutes. With plans starting at only $3.96 a month, you get 24-7 support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They will even migrate your current site for free. Their servers are 130% powered by wind energy, not to mention they offer unlimited disk space and bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and a $100 Google AdWords credit to get you started on marketing your site. For Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code DESTRUCTOID at checkout. Hosting and gators mm -hmm. and video games, it all comes together somehow. Truly, the it internet is a magical support place. The show. Yeah, go, so go sign up, go do this. that, it's a good thing. Uh, right now, it is contest time. Okay. Contest time. You guys remember, uh, might remember a few months ago we did a little contest with Astro Gaming, the purveyors of finely crafted gaming headsets for your ear holes. Uh, and they gave us a couple of those kick-ass Saints Row A40s to give away and those we did that, so cool. it was all a lot of fun. Uh, well the contest was a success and they got in touch with us again because they're nice people. And this time they're giving us some Infinity Blade 2 A30 headphones. Ooh, ooh. A40s are the, the big ass earmuff looking cans that make you look like Lobot from The Empire Strikes Back. While Astro A30s are actually smaller and they are, um, they're small enough, you can actually wear those out as you know, iPhone yeah. headphones. They're, they're pretty nice. Um, for this contest, what we want you guys to do is send us a picture of your Infinity Blade character wearing a pair of A30 headphones as though they are a magical helm. 
and then tell us what their fantastical properties are. How do they complement your character? What stat bonuses do they have? Is there any lore to oh, go with God, them? Oh, God, not lore. Yeah. Again, this is a picture. You guys can you can draw it yourself on a napkin or on art paper or whatever. Uh, you can Photoshop you know, your actual character. Uh, we've got one pair of A30 headphones and two Infinity Blade shirts for runners-up. So send your entries to cookies at destructoid.com by Tuesday, February 14th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. That is, um, that is when you should be romancing your lady woman, but mm -hmm. fuck that, free headphones. Um, anyway, this contest is open to U.S. residents only or to people who have access to a U.S. mailing address. Apologies to our overseas fans, but we don't make the rules. We just make up the dumb contest yeah. with the... I'm like, draw a picture of a magic <laughs> guy, and then we write that, and we actually, that's the contest. We'll so. have some codes to give away yeah. on the show real soon. Yeah, we'll, we always we'll do have that. codes. codes. Um, in case you guys didn't notice, which most of you probably didn't, because YouTube has this stupid bug where sometimes it forgets to send out email notifications about our episodes. But anyway, we released two, not one, but two reviews yesterday one for Kingdoms of Amlur Reckoning and one for The Darkness 2. So please go watch them if you haven't seen them yet and leave nice comments so I don't cry myself to sleep at night again. No, fuck that. Leave some comments getting in fights with the people leaving mean comments. Yeah, also that. Seriously, criticize, criticism is fine, you guys, as long as it's constructive and not telling me I'm fat or that you hate my outfit or something. We're mm -hmm. actually planning on doing a whole lot more reviews on this show in the coming months. So any actual input that we can use is always greatly appreciated and yes, we do read the yeah. YouTube comments. I'll jump in there and, and say mean shit about he'll, your mom. He takes it seriously, man. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck a bitch up. He'll, he'll fuck a bitch up. Also, speaking of fucking a bitch up, remember Friday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific, we are doing another live show right here on this very set. Uh, won't be in front of a live audience, of course, but Thank it'll be God. fun nonetheless, so we would love it if you joined us. You can watch here at youtube.com slash detoid or at revision3.com slash watch, and again, that it starts at 3.30 p.m. Pacific sharp. So that's, don't that's, miss that's it. It's not that sharp. Sometimes it's like It's pretty sharp. It's always sharp. Yeah, it's now, there. if you want to keep up with Max and I outside of the show, you are more than welcome, nay, encouraged, to follow us on Twitter. It's where we get silly when mm -hmm. we're not getting silly here. Yeah. I'm on there at Tara Longest, and he is Max Scoville, and the show's on there also at Detoid Show. Yeah. So go follow, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mom, share with your mom's friends. Don't share with your boss. That Tell your mom fired. and her friends I say hi. I'll be yeah. over for the book club and some motherfucking wine coolers later. Oh, yeah. See you Friday. See you Friday.